Ah yes, the moustache. Hypnotizing the hearts and minds of the world's youth since time immemorial, and its presence on the silver screen has only further cemented it as a choice. Chaplin, Dali, Selleck, Hogan, just prime examples of moustache royalty. But we're not going to talk about them today. We're going to talk about something else. Basket Case is the 1982 directorial debut of Frank Henenlotte. It's a horror movie about Dwayne Bradley and his, let's say, less fortunate Siamese twin brother, Belial. <laughs> Who, after being separated from his brother, thrown in the trash, saved from the trash, and then raised with love, decides he and Dwayne deserve some rather violent revenge. It was made with no budget, seemingly no actors, and three of the heftiest examples of upper lip accoutrement ever put to film. Dr. Needleman is here, rocking a pretty classic mustache. Looks pretty well kept, visually, I have no complaints. We even get to see it under a little duress, which is a nice touch. I'd rank it higher, but I do find one thing troubling. It's... it's that. I... I don't like that. This moment alone takes this mustache from starring role to greasy crumb wallet, and it really leaves a sour taste on the upper lip. Honestly, we hate to see it. This prime slice of New York City beefcake is credited only as hotel manager. And yes, I realize placing him so low will be a controversial pick, but I am ready for the critical backlash. Now, I don't deny this man has a powerful front bumper, and between this and that little taste of chest hair we get, I theorize that shaving is an arduous process for hotel manager, which only serves to make this fluffy feat of facial engineering that much more impressive. Okay, I hope you're sitting down for this one, for we are in the presence of greatness here. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, boom. Now that, my friends, is a mustache I could take a nap in. It belongs to a character named Detective, and his unwavering sense of justice must be what allows him to wield such a gift. It is no coincidence that this man is in a position of authority. That thing dominates the screen adding at least three pounds of weight to each and every word he speaks. I am especially impressed by how cleanly this Adonis of the upper lip sits, not a hair out of place. It looks good, and it knows it. Taunting the stashless masses with its sheer presence, impossible to resist. <laughs> well, there we have it. Our basket case based case for mustaches in the motion picture. I'd like to thank you for your time. Now please, be gone from me. I have much to do.